Welcome to Feedback Friday number 19. Brenton here from Effortless Swimming. In today's video, you can see that this athlete is swimming really quite well. One of the, the things that stands out here is his catch. So let's uh, let's pause it for a moment and let's go back here, have a look at the catch. So as you would have seen in the last video that we did, the Feedback Friday video, uh, we spoke a bit about the catch. Now the catch is basically from when you're out in front and we wanna see you starting with your fingers below your wrist, wrist below your elbow, so a very slight downwards angle here. Then what the best swimmers in the world tend to do is they allow their fingertips to point down while their upper arm manages to stay in almost the same position. And you can see there, all right, that's quite an, you know, an extreme position for most people. Most adults won't have the mobility through the shoulders, sometimes the strength either, to be able to get to somewhere like that. But you, know, you can see there, really nice position. All right, so holding good water. Same with this left arm, all right, nice starting catch position. Could go a little bit higher. See how the fingertips are maybe 10 or 15 centimeters deeper than the, the armpit? I like to go just one or two centimeters below the armpit. So it could start the catch a little bit higher. But again, you can see really good catch with that left arm as well. All right, really good. Now that takes time and practice to, to develop. And some of the drills that we do in the clinics that we run and in the membership that we have for, for online coaching, we go through some of those drills and they can feel a bit awkward and unusual. And you know, it's, this is something that really does take time to, to be able to get right and be able to do automatically and consistently. But if your catch and pull is somewhere along those lines like this, uh, like this one is doing here, then you're going to be setting yourself up really well. Now, if you're either sprinting so if you're swimming a 50 freestyle, or if you're you know, maybe a, a triathlete or an open water swimmer, you don't necessarily need to go for something quite as uh, extreme as this position. Okay, as we mentioned, you may not have the mobility or strength to hold it, but as we said, you, it doesn't mean you wanna pull through straight, we still wanna hold generally a pretty good position through there. So it doesn't need to be a really high elbow catch, but we do still wanna somewhat Keep that upper arm up while the fingertips tip down. Now, looking here, what can we work on? Well, could possibly look a little further down. As we said, it's an individual thing. Head position is different for each person. Um, but you can see there with this swimmer looking almost directly in front. And it may be just causing the legs to sit a little bit or the hips to sit a little bit low in the water. So might want to consider looking a little bit further down just to help keep the back half up slightly. And that's something that I'd experiment with. So um, I'd play around with looking straight down, looking about halfway in between, and just see what works best there. Now the other thing that we might look at, uh, at doing as well is possibly using the glutes and the hammies a bit more to bring the legs up. So you can see here with this right leg, see that point where it comes up here the, on the, the completion of the up kick with this right leg? See there how the knee's quite bent still? He hasn't quite engaged his glutes and ham hammies enough to bring that leg up straight. Ideally, what we wanna see there is the leg almost straight um, as it comes up there. And so he'll just be getting a little bit of extra resistance and drag on top of the leg on his, uh, on his quad there. He hasn't quite brought the leg up straight enough in the up kick. Left leg looks a little bit better. So they're really, you know, the two, two things from this video that we'd probably um, look at. Now, obviously, depends what speed he's going and what races he's doing as to what stroke weight we'd look at, um, how much sort of assertiveness or, or speed we'd want with the hand on the entry, um, and a few other things. So it really just comes down to the individual swimmer, what his main events are, and also um, you know, what speed he's going in this video. But that'd be the two things I'd look at um, working on, but fundamentally, catch, pull, body position, everything looking really good. If you'd like your own stroke looked at, then check out the Effortless Swim membership. There's a link below in the description. That's where I do online coaching for swimmers all around the world, where I'll have athletes send in videos um, from multiple different angles. And then I do a full video analysis and break down what they're doing well. And then we also look at, all right, how do we want to go about making any changes to the stroke that's going to make you more efficient, faster, and save energy. So you can come out of the water feeling fresher and also just improving your technique because really that's what it comes down to for a lot of people. I know a lot of swimmers are putting in the effort and the hard work that's involved, but sometimes, you know, I mean, more often than not, it's the technique that holds them back. So check out the Effortless Swimming membership in the link below. 
if you're looking for coaching and uh, technical uh, advice and coaching for your own swim stroke.